Hi, my name is Jess Beyer from DeWitt Law Firm and the ALA Wisconsin Chapter. Good morning, my name is Emily Spear. I'm from Fox Galvin in the St. Louis Gateway Chapter. Emily and I would like to take you on our journey so far as recipients of the Susan L. French Emerging Leader Fellowship. We had the opportunity to first meet in person at CLI in Louisville. Meeting with Wendy, Michelle, and Alan in CLI really drove home the impact Susan had on the ALA community and the importance of this fellowship program. We embarked on a maiden voyage with Michelle, Wendy, Emily, and the foundation. The experience was overwhelming, emotional, and exciting. Did someone say Judy his song? The next step in the fellowship would be leadership training with Judy. Our leadership training with Judy was called Elevate Your Professional Presence. In our first session, we talked about creating agreements as well as our strengths and values. In addition to understanding how to set agreements, this session also explained how to improve our approach by identifying the values of, of those around us. As a new manager, I found this tool to be especially helpful in my day-to-day -day communications. Understanding the values of my firm leaders and coworkers assists me in my approach. I can meet them where they're at. In our second session, we talked about leadership styles. This involves self-reflection on our emotional intelligence. I found that it was not easy to be self-aware. It takes a lot of time and practice. For me, this session forced me to rethink how my personal presence affects those I am trying to lead and what it might look like to take that next step into becoming a great leader. Judy provided the example of simply greeting everyone in the firm with a warm and genuine good morning each day is a form of leading by example. Thinking about that concept allowed me to evaluate where my weaknesses are and come up with strategies for improving those. In our third session, we continued discussion about leadership and embracing change. Creating a strengths and values analysis profile on each of my firm members gave me the space to consider how I could best approach shifting our organizational unwritten rules in a direction that is more beneficial for the firm. This session helped me know, um, helped me understand that by knowing the values of my firm leaders and coworkers, helped me lead them through change positively. In our fourth session, we talked about conflict, and there's actually a formula for calculating the cost of conflict, which I found interesting, and Judy helped us work through conflict. As a new manager, conflict resolution can be intimidating to me at times. Working through the techniques Judy provided has really helped me more effectively lead my staff into a productive space in their times of crisis. Judy also walked us through the elements of strategic thinking, which has helped me play a bigger role and make valuable contributions to our firm's succession plan. In this session, I took away and understood that opposition and conflict are two different things. Opposition is productive and conflict is unproductive. Understanding the difference allowed me to go from that's not going to work to a why can't we try that mentality. In addition to talking about conflict, we um, discussed strategic thinking. Setting time aside for strategic thinking allows me to be creative in my approach to bring about change. During our final session, we discussed the ladder of accountability. Accountability does not need to be painful. By creating action steps out of all of my meetings, conference calls, and conversations makes me feel like I have the ability to move things forward. This approach prevents me from appearing to be the Kool-Aid kid busting through a wall. And also don't forget to celebrate the small victories. Sometimes our missions don't go as planned and some steps may take us on side steps, which teach us things and those are definitely victories. Working through the ladder of accountability made the biggest impact for me personally. I was able to recognize I had been sitting in a state of waiting and hoping instead of taking the accountable approach. I was able to use the group's knowledge and support to help me move into an accountable space instead of a victim space. 
Jess very kindly reached out after the session in support, and we were able to further talk through strategies and even work through an accountability scenario of her own. Thank you so much for allowing us this opportunity and affording us this creative and amazing journey. We look forward to the things ahead. Thank you.